I am calling the meeting to order. It is uh, the select board Monday, uh, June 15th here at 6. Thank you, John, for reminding me of that important fact. So, all right, Michelle, do you have uh, – yeah. all right. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> That's all right. What's up? Uh, so I just wanted to talk about the Zoom subscription. Okay. To check in about that. Um, the library has a Zoom account, and I know the Planning Commission was interested and maybe the DRB as well. And so I didn't know if the town was going to get a Zoom account where, you know, there'd be different hosts and the library would be one host and the Planning Commission would be another, or if the library is going to continue to have a separate account. So, um, and I had Sasha look into this for me um, this past week, and she sent me something here um, right before we get on the the, um, the call. But maybe you can share uh, with me, Michelle, or us. How how does the uh, the host account work? Is it possible that we could all use that one, or is it really not feasible? What how does what do you think? Right. So my understanding of reading the you know Zoom rules online. So we have. Um, we have one account, a pro account, with one host, and the library is the host, and it's fourteen ninety nine a month. So each one of each entity would be another host. Mm -hmm. So I know when the planning commission used our account, um, Corey set up the meeting, and she participate. She didn't participate in the meeting, but she was there. Right. So it's. When I read it, I don't think you can't. You can share an account, but you can't share hosts. So because we only have one host, we can't share beyond the library because that would be a violation of the rules. Sure, yep. That, that's my understanding. Okay. Well, then we will uh, look into it. Sasha, did you find out anything different? Uh, no, no. I think Michelle got a little bit further than I did. All right. So um, we can check with, with Jonathan and, and John Riley, uh, and if there's still mm – -hmm. Uh, continued interest and wanting to to host their meetings um, with Zoom. Why don't you go ahead and, and bring that to the board next time, uh, Sasha, or even before then. I, I don't think it's an awful lot if it's something those guys want to get started on. Uh, but okay. just see what we can do as far as, uh, um, I guess, the option with with uh, several hosts. And maybe we get, uh, get rid of the library's subscription if it's any cheaper to do it that way with them as okay. well. Cool. We found it, we really liked, meet, we meet via Zoom and then Corey does programming. Uh, it's worked really well so far. Yeah, I use it um, for another, uh, for, for my work and, and like I said, it, it's nice, especially if you want to share documents and, and such. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit easier, so. Um, you know, I think if we're depending on what we decide here as a board going forward, we will we may uh, take advantage of that as well. Cool. Right. Um, one more one more quick thing that I wanted sure. to tell you about was we um, voted at our last trustees meeting we were going to move five hundred dollars from our approved budget in the portable toilets line into the building maintenance fund line to cover some trash costs. Do you want me to send that change to you in writing, or can I just tell you? I mean, since you approved it, I want to let you know that we're moving money around. It's not going to change the bottom line. How do you want me to handle that? Yeah, I think if you guys have um, made that decision, let us know. Um, it, 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 yeah, and we'll, we'll take care of that. I don't want to... Um, Eliminate those those line items, or or if we're moving the money around, I want to make sure that we're budgeting correctly going forward. So, Meg, right. um, so that's I just want to make sure we're not just throwing things around and not um, realizing where it's going or where it's from, uh, so we can budget correctly going going forward. Yeah, that makes sense. And normally, you know, we wouldn't move the money around, but the the trash cost was unbudgeted, and then also the portable toilet cost, which we would have used. Um, but we don't need to now because you are letting us stay in the town hall. Is, is also un so it seems like more representative of what we're doing to move it. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you for asking, though, for checking. Anything else uh, with library stuff? I'm good. Jamie, are you on? Do you have anything? I am on, and I was really just here in case you needed me, but 
sounds like everything is good. So, no, I don't have anything else. What, what are you guys' plans to open? The, uh, Jamie or um, yes. Michelle? I'm sorry, what, Jamie? I, I asked if did you guys have plans to, to to reopen or what's going going forward. We do have a plan that is all laid out, different stages that we would be open, um, depending on uh, various factors. Right now, I'm yes. waiting for. So the next phase, we would be open by appointment. We would continue curbside service. I think Corey is just waiting for some um, PPE supplies so that she'll be able to sanitize between uh, patrons. All right. Well, it sounds like yeah. um, you guys are moving forward. And you yeah. have a we, could, we could share that um, plan with you if you'd like. Yeah, when you get it, just so that we're we uh, we know what's going on. I mean, I'm sure you're you're doing to the coats, but just so we have it on record, it'll be good. Yes, I'll take care of that. Thank you very much. All right. Um, now, uh, who else, Neil? I know you're here, but you know, I'm going to have you speak a little bit later um, at Old Business because uh, I think what you what you have is Old Business kind of pulling out of the school district. What we had talked about before which we have on our agenda as old pending business. So um, is there anyone else here for general public comment? Uh, yes, I believe that's me, Steve Robbins. Um, and I'm here with my Moortown Recreation Committee hat. On. Hey, Steve. Thanks. Hey. Um, hey, before I, you start, I, Steve, I'm just going to hop off. Thank you so much for having us, and uh, take care. All right. Thank you. Thank Michelle. you. Have a nice night. Okay, bye. bye. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Rachel. So, Steve, go ahead. What's uh, what's up? I submitted a very short one pager to Sasha um, to circulate to the board. I don't know if that made it through to y'all, um, and this could certainly be an agenda um, going forward. But I thought it would uh, it was worth the committee sort of tasked me with bringing at least a couple things um, to the board's mind that we've been kicking around for the last few months. Um, one is um, we developed, and this is actually not this is a little stale. We over the course of a few meetings um, over the winter, we developed a mission statement. But we realized that really it's up to the select board to always say what we are not or are not. So these are for your consideration. Um, if you don't have it in front of you, I could read it. But hopefully there's a there's a handout. Um, yeah, I do not have that in front of me. Um, but in what I <laughs> like. Steve, on, on that, and I don't know if, um, who has it, but this would be good uh, a good topic to have as an agenda item. Um, yep. Feel and, free to invite me back to a future meeting, and we can discuss this <laughs> in all, any of this another time. Yeah. Um, not that I don't – in fact, I'd like to get your other idea out as well. But these are things what I'd like to see going forward is is to reach out to, reach out to Sasha and – uh, get on the agenda so we we know what you're you're coming for, and um, you know, and then it just gives us a little bit of time. And but more for for other people out there wanting to know you know what's going on. Um, yep. Understood. Yep. So. That was my intent. Um, yep. the, the other thing is is field mowing, and there, and I'm sure we could come up with a, a, a longer list of things to discuss. But uh, those were the two. Um, All right. The, the, the board to. Consider uh, approving a mission statement, and also um, our, I guess, our opinion and our guidance on what we think a mowing um, schedule could could be. That's it. So, so why don't we plan on our at our next meeting? And Sasha, you can put Steve on um, for our first guest at our next meeting, and we'll we'll take a look at those mission statements and and you know plan you know. 20 minutes with you, say, to, between that and talking about the fields and if there's other things, you know, uh, that you want to send forward to discuss that sign as well. Yes, I, I would ask Sasha if she can advance at least the, the one pager, um, and if there's other things we can we can develop, a, you know, we can add we could add to it. All right. Is that fair? So um, will That's I get a confirmation that, uh, that, you know, I'm coming on a certain date of time or 
Yeah, she will okay. uh, send good. it out to you. But plan on uh, our next meeting is uh, going to be the first week in July, uh, July Monday the sixth. I'm writing it down. Seven so, six. Uh, seven six, and if you can, you know, somewhere between six fifteen and six thirty. Got it. I'll put it in my calendar. And Sasha, did yes. you can put that as well. Yep, I got it. Thank you. All right, thanks. Yes. Right, Steve, yes. Before you go. Steve. Yeah, uh, this, yeah I'm still here. Okay, this is John. Um, hey, John. I do also uh, see who on uh, the rec committee would like to be part of the land management plan uh, committee that I'm trying to the, put together. The forestry management plan for the right. town forest? Yeah. Oh, I, I, exactly. I, didn't, I didn't know that there was a subcommittee being formed, but sure, I can I can um, bring that up at our next meeting. Yeah. That, uh, you want How many people do um, you want from our from our group? Yeah, uh, I I mean I I think Chuck might have wanted to, but but I I don't know. Um, you know, Chuck and I discussed things back before COVID nineteen, and and uh, so I figured that we could probably start um, you know start going on getting going on this uh, the forest management plan. So is this the yes, new I, What's that? John, is this the that new land that we got? No, no, no. It's it's the existing because um, that the plan actually that was ten years ago. So that that plan is uh, has expired. Uh, really, just updating the plan. It's not it's not a big deal. And then I, I know I when I bumped, I was going to just ask Steve because when I I bumped into him the other day. And we started talking, and, and we what what isn't it this new land that we got as well, right? Well, that's got to be a, a separate separate item. I mean, that eventually will will come also, but we have to get the access to it straightened out first. Oh, I didn't see. I don't know anything about it, so I was just wondering what was going on with that. Yeah, and um, and I'm I'm going to bring that up a little bit later too. Oh, okay. So um, I'll just weigh in one last moment, and that is, um, yes, we want to at least, you know, be part of the forestry plan. I had connected with a couple of individual members of the planning commission to express the same, and they assured us that, yes, we, you know, we would at least be involved. So if, so if, the, if, yes. the, yep. if the reach out is to get a couple um, members from our group to sit in on a subcommittee, I'm, I'm sure that won't be hard to get a couple folks to um, okay. do. Well, I say that, but um, I'm sure there'll be some interest. So, awesome. Okay. Because for me, of course, I have the hat of tree warden and also of uh, select board. So, so That's I'm, good. I'm, there, I'm on their duel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, you're, you're critical. That's that's great. And you have, and you have the, the long view of, of the whole project. So that's great. Okay. Right. Good. Anything else for Steve? All right. So let's go ahead and move move forward. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate your help. Um, okay, guys and, and right girls, up. signing off. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Yep. Thank you, Steve. So uh, do we have anyone else on uh, for general public comment? No. All right. So, uh, not hearing any one speak up. We're going to move on to the next agenda item, and that is uh, regarding the first constable position. Uh, so, Mr. Chenet, um certainly come off hold if you are. And uh, first, thank you for um, expressing interest in in the, in the job. Um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for thanks for having me on tonight. Um, so I am uh, currently a police officer in, in Burlington. Uh, I'm a detective. I've got 15 years on the job. Uh, I work in the major crimes division, uh, which is mainly homicides, attempted homicides, um, major arsons, you know, major major violent crimes. Um, so I've for a while now been looking at different committees and different uh, boards to possibly be on because I've been I've been trying to do some community service beyond beyond my job um, in my the little spare time that I have. Um, and, you know, I talked to some of my neighbors and I was aware that the, the constable position here was open. Um, so it just seems like a, a good way that I can give back to the community that also fits my schedule. Because I, I understand it to be mainly uh, the service of civil paperwork. 
and that I can fit in certainly around my around my nine to five. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> as far as background, uh, beyond that, I um, I went to Castleton my under undergrad. Uh, psychology is is my background there. Um, I was also in the guard. I deployed to Iraq back in 2005 um, with a group out of Waterbury. Oh, nice. Um, did you grow up I, in uh, I did, yes. I grew up in East Montpelier. All right. East Montpelier. And my wife and I have lived in Moortown since 2007. We built uh, just off the river road. Actually, I can see Cheryl and Pal from, from, from here right now. All right. Well, certainly I uh, would welcome you on the board. Um, regarding most of it, like you said, in, in every once in a while there's little papers to be served or, or such. Um, mm-hmm. Is there anything else as a, as a police officer, because you are licensed, that you, you can do within our town? You well, know, I guess I could do... Like as far as police services, yeah, <laughs> um, I could. I understand that each each town really sets the boundaries for what a constable would would do. Um, and there are towns like like Menden, for example, that um, that use that constable position as a full time law enforcement position because every every town is allotted, you know, to have at least one or two. Yeah. Um, so they you know they they paid to send an individual to a police academy. They they get trained at a level level two or three, um, and then they give them equipment and have them go out and primarily do, do traffic, which creates revenue for the town. Um, I don't know that I would have the time to do that on a, on a regular basis, mm-hmm. um, and as far as any kind of enforcement. But if you had, uh, you know, say like a low-level low level crime or maybe even a fraud, I, I could actually look into, um, I believe I would be able to charge that on a, on a state level as in criminal court. Right. in the county because yeah, we're always and mostly our, our issue around here that we deal with is, is speeding so we're always looking for all right and in the past i said god if we could just get someone um licensed you know because oftentimes uh the towns they can go to the even go to the academy but they have to spend time out in the field and, and no one really has the time to sponsor them so uh, right right so i think the we, the car would be the biggest impediment to that um and i know most towns contract with the sheriff's office Yep, and uh, be able to. we we used to do that in the past, and and, um, and that didn't work out so well for us. But, anyways, um, down the road maybe uh, we can look at other things. But does anyone else on the board have any questions for uh, the internet? Well, hearing uh, uh, he he, he uh, appears to be an excellent candidate, so. <laughs> Would you uh, make a motion, Thank you. John? Thank you. Yeah, so I'll make a motion that uh, we appoint uh, Tom Chenette as first constable. Second. I'll second. Kelly seconds it. Um, all in favor, vote aye. 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 Well, um, congratulations, Mr. Chenette. Thank you. You're now the constable. And um, the other thing, oh, we didn't. Also, sometimes every once in a while, dog issues or, or um, when the the, uh, the dog warden is not available, sometimes you might get a call, but um, not too often. Sure. Yeah, that shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a problem. And we never tell anyone that before we get them appointed because oftentimes they'll say <laughs> they won't take the appointment <laughs> if we do. But uh, yeah, that was actually one of my one of my one of my holdups was uh, the animal thing. Um, and then I understand that there is an actual dog dog warden. So it's Ray Ray. I chatted with Ray Munn for a bit, um, yep. and he let me know that. So that's yeah. That's we have great. Uh, Shane great. Grace um, on the common there, and he's our, our pet detective, as we we say, and uh, he does a real good job with it. Um, but uh, every once in a while, he's out of town, so sometimes it falls back onto the constable. But anyways, thank you very much again. We appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can reach out to any of us or anyone down at the office. Um, you'll need to go in at some point and get uh, sworn in um, from Sherilyn. And uh, I think uh, she can do that for you, or she might even be able to do it um, remotely now. I'm not sure how that, how that works. Sure. Sure, we are we are actually neighbors, so I could probably just coordinate with her and All right, pop it down and time to meet up. All right, sounds good. Well, again, uh, sounds good. Thank, thank you. Yep, thank you very much. 
Sasha, could you make sure? Uh, could you make sure you give your phone number to Sasha and she could pass it on to to all of us? Yeah, she she has it. I can certainly send it again if need be. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you all. Good night. Okay, yeah, thank, thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, John. All right. Well, that's that's good to fill that position. Certainly, it looks like someone or sounds like someone very qualified to do it as well. Um, so let's go ahead and Sasha, did you have reappointments for both DRB and uh, Planning Commission? Yes, Paula Woods is um, term expires this month, and so does Karen Horn. And they both sent in letters saying that they wanted to be reappointed. All right. Um, so let's deal with with Paula first. Um, Paula's on the um, the DRB. Can uh, does anyone have any uh, objections to reappointing Paula uh, as an alternate? Right. Yes. Yeah, yes. she's an alternate there. No, I'll make a motion we appoint Paula as an alternate to the DRB, or reappoint or renew. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Callie. All in favor of reappointing um, to the DRB, Paula Woods. Vote aye. 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 And uh, Sasha, again for the Planning Commission? Karen Horn. Karen Horn to the Planning Commission. I think Karen would be uh, uh, great to keep on. Does anyone have any objections to... Um, to uh, reappointing Karen. No, I make a motion to uh, reappoint Karen Horn on the Planning Commission. Second. Thank you, Kelly. Um, so all in favor of appointing uh, Karen Horn to, to the PC Planning Commission, uh, vote aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. All right. Um, so again, we'll, let's go ahead and move on to reports, communications. Sasha, what do you got for us? Um, I'll be sending out a curb cut for the rest of the board to sign off on for Otter and William. And that's about it right now. All right. Callie, do you have anything for us tonight? Um, I have a couple things. All right. So I did talk with Stefan, and he's chatting with some of the officers to figure out some stuff that they had that they wanted to talk about regarding the fire department. So when they get their list all organized, we're going to talk about that. All right. And as I was watching the news this morning... I saw an interesting advertisement for a basement guy. He does basement stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've probably seen it like 10 times, but it didn't click. But the first thing I thought of was the town hall in the basement. And if there was anything we could do to make that space a little bit more appealing. Because as I'm thinking about great you've got the kitchen i mean if you think about some like kid groups down there it's a great place for them to like get messy without being upstairs you've got the kitchen the bathrooms and i guess he does like free quotes i don't know if there's anything he could do with it but i just saw it and it popped in my head well can you um can you get some information for the rest of the board so we can take a look at it, and then maybe we can, uh, if it's something we want to look at, we can get them in to give us a quote on it? Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Don, or did someone have a question there on that? Yeah, no, I, I w- or just in the communications, I was going to say that um, I've been trying to just work along on on, uh, what we've talked about actually two minutes meetings ago about trying to get a town hall um, committee together. Um, And so I've sort of just been, you know, kind of going slow at it only because we're going through the C-19 process and 
how does it really look to start, you know, having some kind of meetings to talk about something like that? And if you were saying, Tom, to be able to have people feel that it's inclusive, you know. But I think even something like this, the basement, which is definitely part of the whole discussion for the, for the town hall and what might get done down there, would certainly come be a major be part of that discussion. <clears throat> Of, of how we use the building and how we can get the basement to be more usable. Um, so, anyway, to that end, I'd like some feedback or some suggestions. Because it would be one thought I had was to see on the committee, if this town hall committee, if if I could reach out to the other committees in town and see if there was a person, any of those people in those committees, who would like to be involved in a town hall committee as one as a step towards getting it organized. So I, I think I think that would that. be a good first step. Um I think we've talked in the past that it would be nice to start with at least someone from each uh each board, planning commission, DRB, um especially. Um so yeah I think that's a good idea. The energy too. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't want to turn away anyone that wants to be, um, right. you know, on the on any committee. I just don't want it stacked, you know, one way or another. I want. Yeah, to, no, uh, I agree. Uh, and I also think that maybe the committee eventually would organize some forums. You know, maybe when we get to finally be get that we can have some meetings, and even in different parts of the town, so people could come out and share their thoughts and their opinions. <laughs> Pardon me. No, no I, I I think that's uh, something we've all discussed. Is, is again, uh, and needs to be uh, discussed throughout the throughout the town. So no, I think I think you're starting in the right um, in the right area. Just you know, go okay. slow and make sure you're checking in and uh, um, with us. With, yep. But you know, I uh, see good things in the in the future there. Okay, well, I'll just sort of reach out to some of the committees and see what kind of feedback I get. So when you're when you're um, so I guess one of the first things I would ask is so what when you're asking them what are you what what is your pitch on as far as you know we're you know we're just looking to turn this building into this or what we're you know my pitch to them is, my pitch to them to join the committee will be a free bus ticket to Burlington and a uh, dinner out. <laughs> Well, geez, put me no. on that committee then. <laughs> uh, what would be my pitch? Yeah, I mean, what uh, are you selling? I mean, as far as uh, you know, we're uh, you know, um, yeah. So for the town, to, so that we could start to discuss a way that the library can be a so-called tenant of a of a town hall that would become maybe a community building. That could be hold our meetings, still be rentable to to people who want to rent it for things, and a basement that would be usable from classes to for little kids or old people or or and such and dinners or whatever you know that that we could end up having a building that would be used more than a few times a year. I think that's that's a good approach. Um, you know, more wide uh, eyes wide open, and you know all possibilities. Yeah. I think there's a lot that can be done with that building, um, and accommodate every all all groups. Yep. Um, all right. Well, thanks. Don. Encourage all the, bo- the all the board members if you can, and you just you know go to Seven Days website and then type in you know library story on libraries and they <laughs> story on libraries in the state. You know, just about four or five months ago. Actually, I have it with me here, and it's quite interesting. And you know, if you read it, you'll see what some other towns have done. Um, the title right. of the, the it's called "Check This Out." That's the title of the article they wrote, and it was in the uh, Seven Days of. Uh, uh, can't find the date on this right now, but there you go. Um, that's what it was called. So, uh, it was in on, on February 19th, if anybody wants to check that out. Or, but that's what the story is called. Check this out. All right. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. All right, so uh, John, what what do you have for us? I don't know whether you want to give um, a run rundown on the uh, construction. What's going do on I'm there? Old business, or do that now? Uh, I think you can just go ahead and right through right now. I mean, it'll, we're old business next anyway, so go ahead. Okay. Um, so as uh, pretty much as you you see, we're all set for the voting tomorrow. So they, they finished up so that um, School Street is open, so people will be able to enter on Moortown School and then exit the uh, uh, School Street. Uh, so they're working in terms of the drainage work. That's where they're working between School Street now and um, the Moortown uh, School Driveway. Um, they're. Where we had uh, an issue. They found two gas tanks, underground tanks, uh, the Moortown uh, General Store. And so those have been removed. And as far as I know, and, and uh, I b believe Ray has already confirmed this, that uh, we're set to go on that section as well. So um, so the sidewalk can, can uh, start in there as well. Um, I don't know. Tom may want to explain some of the issues on the sidewalk better, but uh, generally speaking, there there were uh, quite a few uh, errors in the uh, sidewalk that they laid down that are all going to um, be fixed. And um, I think that's uh, pretty much pretty much it. Yeah, I, and I don't think we have to go into um, there was one ADA issue. Um, and a couple little spec issues, um, but Du Bois is, uh, you know, taking care of it. I heard back from uh, GPI tonight, um, and that they were going to replace the sections that needed to be um, taken care of. So um, I'm yeah. pleased with that. And I don't know, Ray, is there anything you want to say on that? You know, I know. I think the only thing I want to say is, you know, I think, uh, I think we. We have we recognize that we 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 made some mistakes on on the width of the sidewalk, and we 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 are going to replace those. Uh, I do think regarding the the dome, as you might call it, between the store and the next driveway. I I if you followed the emails, we we exercised I think due diligence in trying to get it right before it was poured and and. Uh, uh, I would we, fully agree on that, Ray. And yeah, you know, the guys think, this morning on that, right on the on the job is, and I thanked them for picking it up. And I saw yeah. Lee's email, yeah. and that's why I was, what the hell? Why wouldn't yeah. someone just? You're the engineer on the job. Measure that out. I mean, I'm not a yeah. Uh, yeah. an engineer, and I looked at it and I said, Jesus Christ! I mean, kids in town would love it uh, for yeah. bike, you know, yeah. but. That doesn't apply. Anyway, uh, um, it's, it's an issue that's going to be resolved, and you know, uh, you know, I, I just want to emphasize that uh, that yeah, I, we do recognize we did make some mistakes. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it, it may be middle of June, but for us, it's the middle of April. As far as my crew has not been working, you know, steadily for two months, they're, they're coming off, and a lot of them coming off and layoff. They're not as sharp as they should be. Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. That you yeah. know, it, it, there's a lot of issues here, but we we stand by our product, and, and certainly uh, we want to leave this town uh, happy. Everybody should be happy, and uh, we're going to get that. Absolutely, I agree that uh, you will. And uh, again, I you know we all. And you've heard me say it many times. We all make mistakes, do things sometimes that we, you know, are up to our, our standards. But it's how we all come behind and, and, and correct those mistakes is the, the difference. And you guys are, are doing that and even taking some responsibility for an area where I don't think that um, it lies on you and that's that, that, uh, that will jump. But um, I appreciate it anyways getting it taken care of. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think the pipe... The pipe crew has done well. Uh, we hope to be out of be out of there by the end of this month, and and that will reduce the you know the big traffic thing. Is obviously that that part of the job is 
takes up a lot of space. But once they're out of town, uh, it, it should improve traffic dramatically through town. And and certainly, you know, there'll be a lot less people. Uh, a, a lot will happen towards the end of the month that uh, will get us out of town. And, uh, yeah. Almost, well, that's- almost next <laughs> I mean, we. Uh, I think we all knew going in it was going to be a very uh, congested and busy area. Um, you know, and it is what it is. So everyone, I think, is doing the best they can, and um, you know, we'll continue just moving forward and uh, everyone working towards a good product. And I might uh, point out, I uh, saw Aaron Hunt today, and they're very happy with the work uh, that was done back behind the fire station. So I was glad to hear that. So. Are those the people in um, Meriden's old house? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we should send those people when this is done, send them a, something. I mean, to let us tear their bushes out and all that, I think, was, was quite nice. Um, yeah, and um, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Also, um, um, oh, I just lost my train of thought for a minute. Uh, it'll come back to me. That's all right. <laughs> I do it all the time, John. So, <laughs> anyways, um, Ray, do you have anything else that you um, wanted to share at all? Whether it's uh, on that or anything topic. else, or anything yeah, else? A, that's yeah, a couple of things I did want to mention uh, when we were talking about the uh, the town hall drainage. It's still on <clears throat> on the agenda, I think, to replace the uh, uh, put that that trench drain in in front of the rear yep. door. Yep. That didn't get the last year. I, I think we recognize that that was a major problem with the water game over the sill. I think that's still on the docket to get done this summer. Uh, that, and that should help things dramatically in the basement. I just want to make sure everybody knows that's still on the on the table. Oh. Yeah, and, that's good to know. And make sure Martin, uh, uh, you've talked to him recently about that, Ray. I, you know, I didn't think of it until we were just talking about it tonight. But I will, I'll definitely talk to Martin about it. So um, we can take yeah. that, that new shiny excavator of our excavator and use it down there in, in the middle of town for yeah. people. Yep. Yeah. Um, and the other thing uh, was uh, we had talked uh, earlier this year about uh, developing uh, some sort of uh, a village sewer uh, commission or committee to look into that. And I still have that on my agenda. I just uh, – I'm just waiting for us to uh, – waiting for the COVID thing to clear up a little bit more where we could have a committee that actually can get together, see each other and talk this over rather than try to start from scratch over the phone. Yeah, no, I agree. Remember, uh, Clark Amadon was, was, um, yeah, I definitely got Clark that. on the Clark and, and both the Clark and Don have both, uh, expressed some interest in, uh, and, uh, you know, so I, I'm going to start with those two guys, but again, I'd like to wait till we can all we can sit down and talk about this where we're all comfortable about it face to face. No, I think that's that's a good idea. That's fair. All right. Okay. Um, also, uh, yeah, what I wanted to uh, mention is that um, I actually um, hadn't received these emails that went were out in uh, June eighth, um, where Dubois did question uh, that bump and. Uh, and basically, Doug Doug Henson uh, explained why he planned it that way. Um, and so, you know, moving forward, I mean, Doug's made so many has made there's been so many errors in the plans, um, and you know, not showing spring lines and things like that. It's it's been very difficult. Everything that, that he says, and if there's, if, you know, if there's a disagreement, in what he says, you know, let, let's let's address it, you know, and and you know, not wait uh, until a week later, which is, you know, I finally had the email forwarded to me, um, but we, you know, we could have addressed that bump sooner, you know. Yeah, no, in what, and the answer was a very flip answer by uh, Doug to uh, to Lee, uh, you know, just, you know, I put it there so it's safe for a sidewalk. That's why it's a sidewalk or something like that. Uh, it, was, it was inappropriate, and that's where... But Lee should have stepped up at that point and, 
measured it or, 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 or taken them just a closer right. look at it. Yeah. But um, anyways, we're we're over that. But yeah, so I I also saw John where you uh, were able to get um, Pat Travers, who's now a GPI, to send out an email to make sure that you're on all uh, lists. So right. hopefully going forward that does not happen again. Yep. Good. Okay. All right. So um, that, I don't uh, have anything except I, um, before we move forward, we just need to approve the minutes uh, for for June first. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of June first. All right. Thank you. Callie, you still awake? All right. Thank you. Um, uh, all in favor of approving the minutes for June first, please vote aye. Uh, All right. Hi. Thank you. All right. So let's uh, now we'll move into to old business. Uh, so Neil, thank you for being patient with us. Um. Yep. Here. Here I am. Can you guys hear me? Yep. We, we can. So uh, Neil, you, um, everyone, I'm sure received uh, from Sasha uh, what she uh, forwarded us. From Neil, but so go ahead, Neil. Why don't you uh, take the floor? You got a few minutes here. Yeah, sure, great. And so, how's this connection, by the way? Because I know that Johnny mentioned uh, last time I talked, uh, I was a little funky, and it's actually I have to say it's, I got a little bit of an echo on my end. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's much better than last time. Last time I think I had to mute you because it was. I'm, I'm still an echo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I got uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an internet phone, and um, but I, I, I can I, I can actually give you guys a ring back if you want, or I can just go. Forward. No, this is fine. I think I don't know. I, I can hear you all right. If it gets yeah, too bad, we'll have you. Moment. Sure. All right. Yeah. So, uh, and I, I hopefully all you folks had a, an opportunity to read the uh, the letter that I sent you. Um, I I spoke to you guys back in March, right when we had gone into the COVID lockdown, and I had uh, gathered up uh, signatures right before uh, before the uh, social distancing hit uh, regarding um, uh, uh, holding a meeting uh, for more towners to vote on whether or not to withdraw from the consolidated school district. And I think what we said at the time, uh, not really knowing what was going to be happening, was we talked about um, sometime this summer getting together, um, and I know that at the meeting two weeks ago, you, you folks took a vote of no confidence uh, in, in our superintendent, and unfortunately, um, the, the vote did not go that way. It was um, it was a 9 to 5, uh, 70% to 30% with the weighted vote uh, in favor of uh, renewing the superintendent's contract, although they did reduce it from uh, from two years to one. Um, so I just wanted to come back uh, in front of you and, and, and see, uh, given where we're at now with the pandemic, if there were any thoughts about um, about moving forward. I, I would I would urge uh, movement on on the on the uh, the petition. If possible, and just going over from what I said last time, so the the process is fairly easy to to start, uh, but then it uh, and with the process in a nutshell is uh, a meeting has to be held uh, in Moortown, and uh, if you get 51% of those present voting at that meeting uh, saying that they want to withdraw from the district, at that point it gets certified to the Secretary of State's office. And the Secretary of State schedules a, uh, a simultaneous election for the other five towns to vote on ratification. And this is the hard part because you have to get 51% from all five towns separately in order to get the, the withdrawal um, ratified. And at, at that point, it goes to the back to the State Board of Education. Uh, according to the statute, and there, there hasn't been a lot of um, – Really, there's only, there's only one district down south that has, take, has, has tried this so far, and they're kind of right in the middle of the process right now. Uh, but it goes back to the State Board of Education. The statute seems to say that if you get a ratified withdrawal, then that town is out. 
and the only thing that the State Board of Education is going to consider is whether or not to let the consolidated district continue to operate or if it's, they're going to dissolve it. Um, the, you know, practically speaking, the, the big thing that's going to come up if we vote to withdraw uh, and if, certainly if we move to and we successfully ratify is going to be that the consolidated district now owns the school. You know, which we, we sold to them for a dollar uh, back in 2016. So, um, so one of the things, uh, another thing I was suggesting was, uh, you know, putting together perhaps some folks to uh, to start the process of negotiating that. If, if and when we, I would say, if, if we got to uh, the Moortown meeting and we were we're going to be having the ratification vote with the five towns, and then probably at that point it would be good to start approaching the consolidated uh, uh, board and seeing if uh, if they can work out some terms as far as selling the school back. Um, but it's not. I mean, it, you know, things don't look great for Moore Town or or for Faston. Uh There is a there is a pre K through twelve plan that the 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 board approved uh, a couple months ago, and basically, they're just so initially. What the I mean, the the board chair said in the press that if there, people wanted to uh, object to the plan, which involves moving the fifth and sixth graders from Moortown up to Cross It and the seventh and eighth uh, from Hums to Cross It, that they should vote against the budget, which of course happened uh, quite handily. And they're, they immediately uh, backpedaled and said, well, we're not really sure why. The, there could have be all sorts of reasons for voting no. So the, the long and short of it is, is that the, you know, our, our position in this consolidated dis district is still very precarious. Uh, I, I definitely think that regaining self-determination would be the best thing for Moortown. Um, and so I'm, I'm, one thought that I had, and I have no idea if this is really practical or not, would be that if tomorrow's budget vote goes down, that if there's a ratification, if there's a, uh, a withdrawal vote from Moortown, that potentially uh, the Secretary of State could piggyback the the five pound ratification vote on the next budget revote. I have no idea whether that would really work logistically or not, but it does seem like if it would work. It would be a decent way of, you know, pairing those two things up and, and getting folks in the sure. town that, thinking. To, yeah. Look. Anyway, so that's yeah. That might be a little uh, a short timeline there. Right. So let right. me uh, get some input from the uh, the rest of the board. Um, yep. So we've, I mean, Neil Neil told the story of what's going mm -hmm. on. Um, and John, I know you're paying a lot of attention to this. Well, what is your thoughts, John? What do you? I mean, well, I mean I'm, I'm certainly open to that idea, especially since uh, Mecca is no longer part of the district. And my understanding there was that with the new contract, um, uh, health insurance would have been offered to the employees of Mecca. And there's no way Mecca could have afforded, could have, would have been able to afford that. So that's the main reason that they withdrew. So now they're not even there. So, I mean, there's, you know, and the fact that they already want to move five and six, um, I, I think Moortown School is, is in a, a bigger danger now than they have been in the past. Don, have you been paying much attention to this at all? Um, yeah, I've been trying to weed my way through it. And in my sense from just what I've been reading and hearing, it sounds to me like the budget is going to pass tomorrow. I don't think it's not going to pass. There's been a lot of people talking in favor of passing it because I thought that was going to give us one year to um, meet, talk, and for people to figure out what the next step is based on what, you know, this budget passing represents and that they're not going to do anything this year other than regroup and see where we're going. So am I getting that message wrong? No, no, you're, you're getting that right. And, I mean, I, I agree. I think the budget will pass tomorrow. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're, we're safe. 
you know, we basically, the way I see it is we, we have a year to, you know, really take a look at this. Uh, we're not as much under the gun as we were before when, mm -hmm. if the first budget had passed, you know, I mean, we, we would have lost our fifth and sixth graders. So at least we've got this uh, year of breathing room. Um, so I, I think we could, you know, slowly start the ball rolling. And I, I, I can speak to that too briefly, Donnie. So, uh, you know, for whatever reason, the, the Consolidated Board decided to link the budget vote to this idea of, of moving the Moortown 5th and 6th graders, uh, which really is part of a separate vote that they took, uh, which is part of this, like I said, uh, pre-K through uh, 12 plan. Um, so it was voted down, so like John's saying, we have the year, but the, the pre-K through 12 plan was never, uh, that wasn't up for vote at, at town meeting, and that didn't get rejected. So I mean, they, they just had a, a, a committee meeting of the committee that's, that's doing this thing, and they're basically moving right forward, uh, just setting the same thing up for 2021. So they're talking about getting the Moortown 5th and 6th graders into the pods and all that, and, and getting the vote on a addition to cross it. Uh, it's that they push over a year. But really, it's the same plan. It's just not happening this year anymore, like John, like John's saying. But we really have the same, the threat of the same thing happening. Uh, it's it's gonna it's off the table. So the budget tomorrow, so you know, it's definitely not going to happen this fall, which is what was the proposal back in March. But it is still it's still very much, um, you know, in in the works there. So. But then if that budget to do that next year gets turned down, wouldn't you think that that would get the message? This, so I, well, if they haven't got the I mean, message by now, another another vote yeah. would make a difference. I mean, yeah, uh, right, uh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're they're really determined to to do this thing to show that as a consolidated district, they can you know close close schools in the valley and um, you know, save. Yeah. So I, all right. I, so we need short answer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the the other thing to consider is that. You know, what's been forgotten here is originally there was going to be a bond vote in June, you know, to make these improvements. Um, and Harwood can't keep waiting to make these improvements. So they've got that to deal with, too. I don't see how they can push forward with a pre-K to 12 plan without taking care of these improvements to, to Harwood. Um, but, you know, even... Having, Isn't that John? What someone? I mean, I don't trust. Said? I don't trust anything that comes out of that board, and so you know, who knows what's going to happen? So, isn't this? Excuse me. Isn't the surplus that they have the maintenance surplus or something? Aren't they going to use that for some of the infrastructure work they need to do? The roof or something? There's some stuff. The science department needs some work, and the roof or whatever. Uh. I don't know. I didn't get. I didn't get that feeling. I didn't think they could do anything without a bond vote. No, but they have a million. Oh, without and a vote, without let's say this, without a vote. Surplus. They have a million and a half maintenance surplus. I thought that they were going to do some, you know, infrastructure, some work on the on how they may. I mean, I, I, and I haven't seen that. But even if they they took, you know, half that money or or two thirds of it, it's not close to what. The, the the infrastructure needs are for that school up there. Um, yeah, I think one, one of the one of the folks uh, who was paying attention to this, uh, another folk, uh, person told me is that uh, they're actually talking about using some of those maintenance reserve funds for the temporary for the uh, pods, the temporary housing for students uh, that they would need in 2021, so that they wouldn't what? need a, a a vote on that otherwise. But that that just that came from. Uh, just from somebody else who's paying attention to stuff who actually went uh, attended, you know, by Zoom this um, committee meeting that they had last week before the full board meeting. So. Well, they can't do. That. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as far as the as far as the bond vote, what you really have here is, is just Act 46 was like a perfect storm because, you know, this this bond vote for Harwood has been desperate for years now. But what you have is a board that's just really pretty much incapable of doing anything, and this. You know, there's 14 of them. They're just they're split like Republicans and Democrats, and they take forever to just you know work out who gets to talk for five minutes. They so 
so the bond vote has just suffered and suffered and suffered. I don't know what the plan is for, for at this point, right? But uh, I can tell you, one of the things is they, they are really, they're sort of like paralyzed from doing things in any sort of effective way. Because the board, it's just a really screwy situation. It's just, honestly, it just should have never happened. But uh, And, John, I'm sure you can attest to this, too. When they, they, they really, they, they can't move. They, you know, they're just, they're too div divided and stuff. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. yeah there's, well, there's no leadership, and they had an opportunity <laughs> to change that leadership, and they, they failed miserably. Yeah. Um, again, and. Uh, but I mean, it, it, you know, the given pretty much is that we eventually would lose, it, at the very least, five and six. And I'm totally in favor of leaving Moortown School intact, and I would like to see how the townspeople feel. So I think it's it's time to. To explore it and get a feeling for how everybody in town feels. All right, so why don't we? I just wanted to say a couple things there. Yeah, uh, go ahead, Ray. Yeah, so uh, again, uh, I'm with with you on that. I'd like to see those more town schools stay, uh, but it seems like we have a lot of work to do, or somebody does, as far as breaking away from the district, as far as cost where what's going to happen with our students uh and are the students going to benefit from this i just think there's i, I don't see a vote this year in my opinion that, that i don't see a vote this year unless unless somebody does a lot of research um, i mean i, I want to be comfortable bidding on something without knowing all the uh, the, the total cost of this thing because it, it seems like the cost is going to be Really expensive pulling out of the district. Yeah, you know, no, Ray, you make some good points. I mean, this would be oh. like what we're complaining about to that board. They're making decisions without knowing what costs it and what ramifications are to our students. Um, so, and I, I, had hoped, I had hoped to come to you folks with, with some more research about that. Um, my computer decided to crash on me first thing this morning. And it took me about six hours to get back up and running, so I really I don't have anything, unfortunately. But it's definitely on my short list is to is to look into this some more and to reach out to the folks down in uh, Wyndham Southwest, uh, Halifax, and Reesboro, where they're undergoing this, that they're they're in the process, and and get you guys some some. Uh, well, why don't you, know, Neil? Why don't you, if you can continue to to do that, John? Why don't we, we need to discuss and we need to figure out how to. Put something going forward so we can so we can start getting a little bit of input from from townspeople. But um, like you said, to raise the point, we need to get um, you know what we're what we're getting into. And I know Ron uh, Shems has looked into a little bit of that as well. So um, I think I think now, like you said, everyone we need to uh, start beating this drum. Um, you know we we kind of see the future, so let's uh, move forward by, um, I don't want to put any firm dates, but, uh, you know, assurance on this board that we're going to just, you know, start discussing this at some point in the near future, get town input, but we need to just, I, I guess we need to put a map together how we want to do this. Yes, exactly. Um, and I think if John and I, um, maybe we're even talk to Ron a little bit and get some advice from him if we could put uh something together for everyone um and then we could start to hold some uh meetings or it depends on what he says and uh uh but yeah I think it's something we should look at. And I can definitely put you know, I can get on that and I, I should be able to have something for you guys before um before the next meeting on July sixth. Uh so you have you know, something to look at it. Lisa and uh, Kristen both reached out to me after I sent the letter to you and, and asked to be kept in the loop, so I I can make that information available to them as well. Good. Well, thank you, Neil. We appreciate that all your, helpful. your yeah. uh, help on that side, and you can reach out to the, the southern uh, counties as well. Sure. Where, where do I... I'm just curious. Where do our, our two reps stand on, on this? On the issue specifically of withdrawal? Yeah. Yeah, so, I, you know, I did, I copied them on the letter to, to the select board. And I heard, like I said, I heard back from both of them. And what they said was that they would like to be kept in the loop, that they would like to, uh, 
I don't, you, I'm you sure they do. Yeah. Um, you know, they of course they they both voted um, uh, to not renew the superintendent's contract. Uh, it was it was them, yeah. the two faced in reps and one from Warren, and that was it. Um, well, Tom, don't you think it would be good if we, going forward, as we figure out what this process is, if we met with our two, had also got a chance to talk with our two reps and just yeah, get maybe a feel that. For, I think that's a great idea. Have meetings and maybe the that? next. I think that's a great idea. Maybe the next meeting on July 6th, we can invite them to come uh, and give us some perspective. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice to be. They've been at some meetings, and they could maybe help us understand a little bit more. Right. Yep. Great. And they may have some ideas of, you know, going forward, what, what's the plan. So, no, I think that's yeah. a very good idea. Um, I'll give myself a June 30th deadline just because, uh, you know, we've got the fourth holiday there. and uh, to get everybody something so that, uh, you know, folks can take a look at something before you get together on the 6th. Sounds good, Neil. Thank Great. you. And, I also, um, was also curious, um, you know, because I didn't see any mention of this anywhere uh, after the vote, but is there anything, any discussion on the uh, conflict of interest with Jeremy Tridiak and um, Michael Frank? Uh, you know, it's funny. I actually was I'm just working on this email to our to the board chair uh, right before this meeting. So it wouldn't have ended up being dispositive of the issue in any event because the the two of them were 15% of the vote, and like you said, it was a 70 to 30. Right. Um, the having said that, the the board chair just ignored. The, the conflict policy. Um, I was I was at the meeting, you know, by Zoom, ready to uh, make my little spiel, uh, and uh, so essentially it's like a two-step process. The, so the, the people who I've suggested to, I've complained against are, are supposed to say whether they think there's conflict or not, and then there's uh, an informal hearing where we both get to be heard. And she worked it out so that they got to speak and I didn't. And I was sitting there hitting the star nine button over and over again. And, uh, you know, I just, I got, so I had, I had nothing. And they, and, and that was, that was that. Um, okay. Yeah. So it was, you know, they didn't follow the appearance of conflict standard, which uh, is the standard that I was uh, com using on the complaint. Right. And, uh, yeah, it was really, it was, it was honestly, it was very typical of how it goes with this board. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of a kangaroo court or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, I mean, it wouldn't have even made a difference. I, it was just, it was just, it's the principle. it was just more, more the same. Yeah, exactly. You know. It's the principle of the thing, sure. All right. Yeah. So, well, yeah. again, uh, thank you, Neil. I appreciate your uh, your time and your efforts on this, and thanks for, uh, for bringing this back to the board. Sure. Thank you, guys. Uh, Thank you, Neil. All right, thanks, Neil. All right, bye now. All right. Um, so, is there any other uh, old business below that uh, we can talk about, Sasha? Um, Linda Van Tine. Um, did you uh, have I, an opportunity, Sasha, to get um, information on Van Tine? I have talked to her twice. Um, she is working on getting the financials that you guys need. Okay. I will reach out to her again. Very good. Well, the, you know, it's it's her, um, um, you know, put the onus is on her, so don't uh, spend too much time on it. But Donnie, did you have a question? I just didn't. I just had one other thing to chime in about the um, the school, and I don't know if this would be helpful or not, as far as when we have the, the July sixth. But the other gentleman who we've heard a lot from who seems to be pretty knowledgeable, uh, his name's Peter Leyland, I think it is. Or, Langella. Uh, what is it? Langella. Yeah. I mean, would, would that be, I mean, would that be uh, someone we should also uh, we, we to ask to join or just wait till we get further along? I think I want to, let's, let's go with the, uh, the school board uh, yeah. members first. Yeah. And yeah. then get another get a perspective. It's good sometimes to get different perspectives on different things. Yeah, that way I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. But uh, good idea. Thank you. Um, 
Any other old business? Yeah. Um, where are we at with uh, Trail 17? Where are we at with it? I think. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, you know, we have this property and we have no access to it. How's that? And why is that? I, I mean, how is we don't have any access to it? Well, not in the, not in the new trail. But it needs to be cut out. Is that what you're saying? Well, my understanding is that it was never finalized, um, and that Ron has some, some work to do, and so on. I think Sasha has a whole file on it that that Cheryl gave to her. I've asked about this, and I asked Ron quite some time ago, um, and he indicated that it was all taken care of. Sasha, do you have stuff that's not complete? Not that I'm aware of, but I can follow up again with Ron and see what what he says again. Remember, I, I had you do that. I think, John, my understanding is... Remember, everything had, we had gone through everything with um, the, the Blodgetts and the, the trail swap. And yeah. then it was, a, it was appealed. So we did everything. And then it was appealed at the, the 11th hour by the Timber Group. Right. And so everything, we had, everything had been done. We were just at that point just waiting for the days to count off. And then it was appealed. So once the Timber Group dropped their suit, um, yeah. it's there's nothing else to do because the, um, now that appeal time is, has uh, gone out. Okay, so so bottom line, the we've thrown up the the old portion. We did. We threw up the old portion uh, quite some time ago. I mean, that's that's what I thought. Um, and um i had i had the same questions um i don't know it was in january sometime because uh, i just wanted to make sure that it would, you know we could uh, take possession of it and uh ron looked into it at that point so no everything was all taken care of but let's um before we turn you know everyone loose on the property let's make sure that uh, all of, uh T's have been crossed and I's dotted because we know it's a very tu- tu- touchy area over there. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. So if you know, if in fact that's okay, um, then um, I actually um, have been involved with uh, the Vermont Master Naturalist Program. And it's sponsored by UVM, uh, Alliance for Half Earth, and um, uh, Friends of the Mad River. And so I thought that that would be a good a good project to do a natural community study there, um, which would be part of the foundation of the land management plan. So, you know, I was hoping to you know, move forward with that as long as we have proper access to the property. All right. Well, let's let's uh, be sure. But again, based on my past conversations, that's that's where it was. Um, okay. Uh, but let's uh, let's really be sure of that I know, and maybe Cheryl, I'll check with her as well. Yeah, because I I I, 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 I did actually was, speak with Cheryl, and she she seemed to think that it wasn't. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> and we'll uh, ask everyone to. Produce their documents. Of why or why not? Um, right. Hmm. All right. So I can I can check with Cheryl in too because it would be recorded. Yep. So yeah. I mean, I thought this was done. Deal. I'm done. I did record the documents. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I, um. Sasha, if you could do us a favor and maybe um, just send a copy of that around. Yeah. Yep. All right. And, um, yeah, I just also wanted to remind you that, um, yeah, I know that uh, tonight Steve Robbins talked about the Planning Commission, talking about the uh, Forest Management Plan and so on. And um, just wanted to remind everybody that 
select board is in charge of these properties, and so you know we should we should take control of that. And you know, I, and you know, last time the last plan, Don might remember he he was chair then. Um, was um, you know it was a, a combined effort of the select board, uh, school and um, planning commission, and yeah. you know I I think that's that's where we're what we're looking at now with you know that have this committee so, um, so I'll I'll reach out you know especially to the older one the the new one can wait a little bit um, especially if I am able to put together this. Um, Thing with the Vermont Mass and Naturals program, as long as everybody, yeah, that's, that's you know, agreeable to something like that. Yeah, no, I think that would be a good. Uh, it would be a, good a, a, good, a great study. So. Yeah, I think it would be great. I think there's people in town who would like to, to do it as well. Exactly, and that's you know, once again, I've kind of been holding off for the COVID nineteen thing, but you know, once we're able to, you know, do more things. It would be nice to, um, you know, get the town involved, have a have a, a meeting, and see, you know, see who wants to to help out and see what their intentions is. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. it's town land, and everybody should have some input. Yep, sounds good. Well, we have um, moved through uh, quite a bit of stuff tonight. Is there any? Um, any other new business that anyone has? Well, no. Okay. I, I still there was one old business that we have. Just did a quick update. Other than if, if it's just what he, sure, what the email that's not. I was just curious about the the bridge. Has anybody heard anything other than the email that we got from Sasha from the lady saying they were checking with the schools? No, that, that's it. No, still, still in that uh, that situation. What's that? No, we're still we're still in that situation, still checking to see what's going on with the school. Um, although I think we know a little bit better now, um, since it sounds like school's going to be in session come September. Right. Um, it would seem to me that they're getting awful close to the point of you know that they of not being able to start it. I mean, here it is. The, it's the middle. It's almost July first. Well, they've start. They actually have started. Uh, they they just hadn't planned on in terms of the um, uh, the dates when they would actually be closing the bridge. That hasn't been mm-hmm. finalized, but I mean they're they're starting to do all the preliminary work. There's a lot of stuff that has to be done before they actually close the bridge. Well, I think again. So you you think they have started that that they will close? Well, I, I believe they we just don't have the exact date. Uh, I'm right, aren't I, Ray? Isn't that what you understand? Well, I mean, there is there's work going on in the background. I think getting some metals in, getting the uh, all their steel in uh, that we're not seeing. And the last I heard, the bridge was starting in August on site. So I I don't know, you know, I you know I'm not completely up to speed on every all conversations, but I don't think anything's happening on site to August. Okay. Although they have their trailer there, right? Yeah. Yeah, they moved that in, uh, you know, maybe a month ago. Um, yeah. And, but again, I think they're they were waiting on materials, um, and uh, you know, hopefully, to John's point, I hope they don't decide to put it off another year. But I don't see them at this point doing that. Um, so, yes. Um, but as you can see, I mean, Sasha, when you get a chance on uh, tomorrow, if you could send out another uh, email just for another update on that, see if there's any other decisions being made. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Oh, um, and then um, one more thing. Actually, it's back on old business. I I apologize. I was mistaken. Um, the Moortown Elementary School uh, ERP grant, um, we still will be responsible for some of that cost that we would be splitting with the, the school board. How much is that, John? It's not very much, is it? Uh, right, the 17000 But split, right? Yeah. Right. What, what was that for, John, again? 
so that that's for the um, the engineering studies of the uh, of the, the plan the Moortown Elementary School work. Are you so talking about the park stop? The, the drainage work, yeah. So do we have a do we have a contract for that, defining what their scope of work is? You mean a contract for who's doing the work? I mean in yeah. terms of the um in terms of the the plan, um that's Oh boy, being done. Yeah, we did choose choose a firm for that. That's the firm out of the. Uh, out of the valley there. Uh, um, yeah, uh, let me do. I just. Uh, I I I'm quite sure that they are not professional engineers, and so that's why I'm concerned on what they're doing uh, and what they're going to give us. Are they just going to give us some general plan that we, again, have to hire a, pre a professional engineer to finish the work? I'm just, I'm just concerned that they, I don't believe, have a professional engineer on staff. No, they, they don't. What, it's Watershed Consulting Associates? Well, yes, okay. that's right. That's the yeah, but they they work jointly with uh, I'd have to I'd have to pull pull that. I'm take, trying to find. I just would hate to see us get seventeen thousand dollars spent on just a a document that says what we need to do without having an actual uh, engineered plan for that kind of money. Right. Yeah, I'm. I mean, because I could sit here and, and, and for a lot less than seventy thousand dollars and and write a report. <laughs> right. Give us directions. We want to know how to. My understanding is the plan was going to be all right. This is what the plan is. Um, engineered to all right. We need a three inch tree to. Um, yeah. This is the you know the tubing or whatever. Yeah. All right. Let me see. So John, can we check on that and see? Yeah, what? I'm pulling. I'm actually pulling it up. Uh, pulling it up right now. Um, they've got that in here. Yeah, the uh, the engineer. It's uh, S E Group. Okay. Are you familiar with them? S E Group. E Group. S E Group. Um, that, it's not really. Uh, okay. I don't recognize that right away. But I don't know. Maybe if we, if I saw it or you texted it to me, whatever. But it. You know, well, why don't I? Why don't I do? Uh, um, I thought we all had gotten a copy of their their plan, but let me uh let me do that. Let me email you the um <clears throat> their plan. The watershed consulting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I just again um, you know I'm so we have got the we have we've got a contract with watershed. Correct. All signed. Okay. But wasn't that uh, that was covered under that grant, John? Was didn't we have? That's what she explained to us. The um, I don't know what how the Central was. Vermont Planning. Yeah, that's that. Not. But that grant that grant covered uh, thirty percent of the project. Right. And so then basically the the rest of the project is what. What we're we would have to uh, right. Sell out that, the money. I mean, the, the grant covered. I it was it a was thirty percent grant. But didn't that cover the whole engineering part? Was that for the total project, John, or just the engineering uh, engineering part? 
Oh no, the 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 well the the design. It's called the Morton Elementary School Stormwater Mitigation Final Design. So that's that's the design plan. Okay. So once they have a plan, and uh, then we decide to go out for bid, whatever does the thirty percent also cover the project cost? No. Thirty percent of the project cost? No. No. Oh. Just just this initial design, and I I would like to try and find out, and I don't know if Sasha uh, knows this or not, but I mean. Basically, the, the whole whole thing here, you know, we were looking at this, the grant that Cheryl got originally, and then the stormwater thing hit, you know, with the catch basins and everything, and I don't know where the rest of it is. I mean, do you, at this point, um, Tom, do you know? I am so we had like, you know, the whole project was like 700000 or something like that, maybe even more. Right. Right, so we had we had never put it out to bid. We just I know that they put it in a budget number of it. Uh, yeah. But I I do know when we hired Green Mountain Engineering that they had designed a storm water system for the school and everything. That uh, and I, if they're just going to take those plans and make them their plans and charge us seventeen thousand dollars for work that we've already done, it just it, I don't know. It just it, maybe it's too late to even go in, go that direction. But it it just seems like uh, I I just don't know what we're getting out of this other group. I I don't know for sure. But well, anyway. I mean, that's it, what it really what it really does is it it takes into consideration um, um, it, you know things like a, a rain, rain garden and. Um, you know, different things to to mitigate uh, stormwater. So it's more than just the the entire drainage. I yeah, I I understand that part of it, uh, John. But there's along with that part, there's a certain amount of engineering that has to be done to make sure that we have the right size pipes and uh, so forth. That I'm not sure that these people are, 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 have the qualifications okay. to do all that. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. I pulled up another another one. Okay, now we have civil engineering associates. Okay. All civil right. engineering associates and the... Let's see. I just found uh, uh, his name is Marshall. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm familiar with them. I mean, they're, they are uh, they are a civil engineering group, and certainly they're uh, they're capable of doing the the engineering part of the project. I'm just again, uh, you know, wondering, you know, the, if we're just duplicating some of the work that's already been done. But anyway, right. they, they've they've got them on board, and I guess uh, you know, I guess at this point we're just going to go forward with it. It just it just Strikes me as a lot of money. Uh, I think what before we, but I, I, I thought though that the, I thought that there was some some issues with Green Mountain Engineering, um, uh, with, and I, I might might be wrong. I'm, I'm going back. We're going back so many years now, but that that uh, the the state wasn't. You know, in in favor of they had some some difficulty. No, it came down to 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 do to do work for the Central Vermont Planning Commission. You have to be on a list if you're going to use their money, and they're not on that list. Uh huh. Uh, that but that only means if we're going to use their money. Now, if they're only paying thirty percent of seventeen thousand dollars, which is five thousand dollars. And we've already spent fifteen thousand dollars on engineering plans. We're going to spend now another thirteen thousand dollars for work that's already been done. Even with the Central Vermont Planning Commission money, we're not really gaining anything from their money because 
uh, we're still back where we were again, I guess. Yeah. Well, actually, it's it's uh, the whole project costs thirty two thousand for the plan. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I, I guess I'd like to see their proposal again, and certainly we'll have to see what their plans look like. Okay. Some point, and I, you know, I, I know it's I hate to drag this out. I just uh, it just occurred to me, you know, talking about this. You know, we're just spending a lot of money on on plans, and we're not getting, we're not going. Uh, the construction part of it is is lacking. Yeah, and I, and Ray and and uh, John, John, if you can look back into your what you have there, because I think we we talked about this um, before. I can't recall. Like you said, it's been a while, but um, I know there was reasons why we chose to go the direction we were, um, and not to spend money after good money after. Yeah, that, because but. I mean, we, you know, Tom Sherlin and I, you know, chose watershed consulting, and the, and the board did vote on it. Yes. Yep. But, but prior to that, John, John, there was a, it was quite some time ago when we um, decided, to, you know, that we had to go in this direction. I mean, I'm, I'm talking a couple. I, of years I can't. Ago. I can't hear you. You're fading out. I said I think it was a couple of years ago, or, or, or a year and a half ago, that we decided that that we had to go a different direction. I mean, this has been something that's been right, discussed. right. So if you can bring up some of your notes or get a. Um, you know, our reasons why we went. Yeah, well, and I'll it. talk with Cheryl about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Because I don't like the idea of again respending money, but I think there was there were some reasons why we we we've done this, but I can't recall exactly why. Yeah, I have to do some research on my own as well. Uh, on I know we had this discussion, parts of this discussion before. So. Yeah, I just can't okay. remember where we went, and there were different reasons. And, why we we kind of gone back and forth, and some of it, again, because of the, the catch basins, changed things for us as well. But uh, so if we can look into that, and then we can get some better answers there. So, all right. I um, think you know I've been thinking about it. It had to do with something about the phosphate um, and how it was being handled, and <laughs> something along those lines, anyways. Yeah. Then, yeah, no, I think you're on the right track there, Ray. I think that's that's exactly because it was an acceptable amount of phosphate, and this yeah. Was, you know, but I mean, this, handle it or something. The the kickoff meeting for the whole thing was last week, so I just okay. All right, well, let's um, move forward, uh, John. If you can put some more information together and okay. get together with Ray. Um, so that you can come back with uh, an explanation for all of us, so that we're both we're all on the same page. Yep. All right. Um, any other uh, new business? All right. Um, so, is there anything else? That anyone? Otherwise, uh, I'll take a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. Y'all in favor for aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone. And, uh...